Baby animals often tug at our heartstrings with their undeniable cuteness, a sentiment widely shared among most of us. However, there are certain baby animals, particularly those dwelling in the wild, that warrant cautious distance due to the protective instincts of their mothers. Yet, when a group of soldiers unexpectedly stumbled upon a lone baby moose, one soldier knew he had to step in and offer assistance. This tale unfolds in May 2018, an otherwise typical day for Eric Jiri Preko, then serving as a soldier in the Estonian army. Eric and his squad had been dispatched to a forest near Lake Vorchov in Estonia for routine military drills. Following hours of rigorous exercises, the soldiers were granted a brief respite. It was during this interlude that Eric found himself in need of a restroom, an inconvenient necessity given their remote location devoid of any public facilities. After confiding in a few comrades about his predicament, Eric ventured into the nearby woods alone, seeking a suitable spot for relief. With privacy in mind to thwart potential pranks from his fellow soldiers, Eric aimed to find a secluded spot while ensuring he remained within reach of his squad for the impending exercises. As Eric navigated through the forest, he marveled at the natural beauty surrounding him. Despite the challenges inherent in military life, he found solace and wonder in the diverse landscapes his service exposed him to, both abroad and in his homeland. Each new assignment offered him the opportunity to behold awe-inspiring vistas and experience the wonders of nature firsthand. While Eric soaked in the splendor of his surroundings, his attention was abruptly diverted by an unfamiliar sound echoing through the forest, an eerie cry akin to that of a distressed animal. Pausing momentarily, the soldier strained his senses to discern its origin. Mindful of the potential dangers lurking in Estonia's wilderness, Eric proceeded cautiously, with the country boasting one of Europe's highest densities of large predators, brown bears, lynxes, and wolves, he understood the gravity of his situation. Yet, despite the looming threat, his empathy compelled him to investigate the distressing cries. With a deep breath, Eric embarked on a stealthy approach towards the source of the noise, drawing upon his experience to remain composed in uncertain circumstances. Unbeknownst to him, the encounter awaiting him would defy his expectations. As he neared the source of the cries, a fleeting brown shape darted amidst the trees, drawing closer to him. Vigilant yet apprehensive, Eric edged forward, wary of encountering a young bear. However, relief washed over him as he discerned the true identity of the creature. It was a baby moose. Though relieved it wasn't a predator, Eric remained vigilant, mindful of the formidable strength and protective instincts possessed by adult moose. Eric was acutely aware of the potential danger posed by the baby moose's mother, knowing that moose, with their formidable size and strength, could inflict serious injuries. However, as he scanned the area for any sign of the mother, Eric was struck by a disconcerting realization. The baby moose was alone, vulnerable to the lurking threats of the wilderness. Determined not to abandon the helpless creature to the perils of the forest, Eric settled onto the forest floor, leaning against a tree, hoping the baby moose would eventually wander back to its mother. Yet, to his astonishment, the baby moose defied his expectations. Approaching Eric with hesitant steps, the baby moose eventually stood beside him. He slowly walked towards me, Eric recounted in an interview. He was quite shy at first, but he finally decided that I seemed to be trustworthy and came very close to me. This initial interaction, however, was just the beginning of the remarkable encounter. The baby moose, seeking comfort or reassurance, began to nuzzle Eric, a gesture both surprising and heartwarming. Never before had Eric experienced such a close, intimate encounter with a wild animal, let alone one that seemed to seek his affection. Recognizing the rarity of the moment, Eric embraced the opportunity, gently petting the baby moose as it nuzzled against him. However, as their bond deepened, it became apparent that the baby moose was confused, perhaps mistaking Eric for its mother. It seemed as if it thought that Eric was its mother, he explained, recalling how the moose even attempted to find something under his armpit, perhaps mistaking it for a source of nourishment. The soldier surmised that the baby moose had likely become separated from its mother, leading it to seek companionship with the first living creature it encountered out of hunger and desperation. Determined not to abandon the helpless animal, Eric decided to seek help. He contacted the Estonian Army's veterinarian office, seeking advice on how to assist the baby moose. 
Following their guidance, Eric was instructed to return the baby moose to where he had found it, leaving it alone while monitoring the situation from a distance. The hope was that without perceived threats nearby, the baby's mother would return to retrieve it. Before implementing the plan, a veterinarian provided Eric with a bottle of milk in case the baby moose's mother did not return. Despite the preparation, Eric couldn't shake his worry. What if the mother didn't return? How would he care for the baby moose, especially with his duties in the army? Setting those concerns aside for the time being, Eric returned the baby moose to its original location and returned to his camp with his squad mates. As the hours passed, Eric's concern for the baby moose grew. Then, in the dead of night, the camp was startled by the resonant call of a moose. Initially tempted to investigate the source of the moose call in the night, Eric hesitated, fearing he might startle the returning mother. Opting instead to return to sleep, he hoped the baby had reunited with its mother. The following morning, before commencing activities with his squad, Eric ventured into the woods once more, hopeful to spot the baby moose. Upon reaching the spot where he had left the baby, Eric discovered it deserted, realizing the moose call he heard must have been the mother calling for her young. Relieved, Eric was gratified that the baby had reunited with its mother, stating, I wanted the mother to find him and I was very satisfied when we found out that they really found each other. Thanks to Eric's intervention, the baby moose was given a second chance at life. Reflecting on the experience, Eric recognized that had he not intervened when he did, the baby moose's fate could have been far less fortunate. Stories like these highlight the kindness and compassion of individuals like Eric, who are willing to assist those in need, whether they walk on two legs or four. This heartwarming tale underscores the impact of individual acts of kindness, emphasizing the importance of helping others in need, be they human or animal.